Welcome to Simplified Physics. In this lecture, we are discussing the dot product and cross product. We are in fact comparing these two products of the vectors. Let's begin with dot product of the two vectors P and Q is represented by P vector dot Q vector, read it as P vector dot Q vector and is defined as P vector dot Q vector is equals to P Q cos theta where P and Q are the magnitudes of vector P and vector Q and theta is the angle between two vectors as shown in the figure P equal to vector P vector and Q vector theta is the angle between two vectors and the cross product of two vectors is represented by p vector cross q vector and is defined as p vector cross p q vector equals to p q sine theta into unit vector n n gap that is unit vector where theta is simply the angle between once again vector p and vector q p and q are simply magnitudes of vector p and vector q and n is the unit vector perpendicular to both P and Q vector. Basic definition P vector dot Q vector is PQ cos theta and P vector cross Q vector is PQ sin theta n cap. n cap is the unit vector. The basic definition of the dot product and cross product. And dot product of two vectors P and Q can be defined as magnitude of the vector p body first vector magnitude of the one vector or first vector and scalar component of the second vector along the direction of the first vector p along the direction of first vector scalar company magnitude of the first vector and scalar component of the second vector along the direction of p simply gives the dot product or magnitude of the q vector and scalar component of the p vector along the direction of the q vector also gives the dot product of two vectors what about the, that means p q uh, p vector magnitude of the p vector and q sin theta is the scalar component of the p vector along the direction of the p that means p dot P vector dot Q vector is PQ cos theta and cross product of the two vectors gives the area of the parallelogram formed by the vector vectors and simply the cross product of two vectors is a vector vector and its magnitude is equals to the area of area of the parallelogram formed by the dam that means area of the parallelogram in this case two vector P and Q are inclined at an angle theta the area of the parallelogram is simply perpendicular distance between the two parallel lines into multiplied by one of the side that is the OP simply area of the parallelogram is QM into OP and the magnitude of the P is OP is P and QM for the area QM equals to Q sin theta Q is along simply sin theta equals to sin theta equals to QM by OQ so QM equals to simply Q sin theta and if you take the magnitudes simply that keeps the area of the parallelogram so the cross product of two vectors is simply gives a vector quantity but the magnitude is equal to the parallelogram formed by the these two vectors. Let's go for the next. Dot product of two vectors simply gives the scalar quantity. That means p vector dot q vector is scalar quantity. That means p is a magnitude, q is a magnitude, and cos theta obviously. So p q cos theta is a 
scalar quantity similarly cross product of two vector gives a vector quantity and dot product of two vectors itself gives us square of magnitude that means two vectors for a vector a a vector dot a vector is a a cos 0 degree because angle between the same vector that means two vectors acting along the same direction that means theta equals to 0 so cos 0 equals to 1 a into a equals to a square that means simply dot product of two vectors gives the square of its magnitude and cross product of two vector itself gives the null vector that means a vector cross a vector equals to a a sine theta unit vector so unit vector simply gives a null vector here something is missing null vector is missing so simply gives a zero or null vector for the if we multiply a vector with product of or cross product of two vector itself is a cross product of vector with uh, itself is a zero or null vector dot product of two vectors obeys commutative law that means a vector dot b vector equals to b vector dot a vector but in case of cross product it does not obey commutative law because direction of a cross b is exactly opposite direction of b cross a that means a cross b a vector cross b vector equals to minus b vector cross a vector cross product simply does not obey the commutative law because a cross b have exactly opposite direction of b cross a dot products also obeys the distributive law that is a vector dot b vector plus c vector equals to a vector dot b vector plus a vector dot c vector and cross pr product also obeys the distributive law and the dot product of two vectors is maximum when they are parallel that means a vector dot b vector if they are parallel acting in same direction 0 degree cos uh, 0 degree acting in same direction it have maximum value 0 not only parallel acting in the same direction in fact gives the maximum value and for perpendicular um, vectors it will be minimum cos 90 equals to 0 that means it will have the minimum value for the 90 degree if they are acting in the same direction parallel vectors in such condition parallel vectors angle is zero so the dot product will be maximum and for a perpendicular vectors dot product will be minimum or zero in case of cross product if two vectors are perpendicular it has the maximum value that is a vector cross b vector equals to a b sine 90 degree unit vector is missing here a b unit vector in terms of magnitude of magnitude only a b and for parallel or anti-parallel vector if theta equals to 0 degree that means for parallel or anti-parallel vector it will be 0 that means will be will have a null vector or minimum value for in case of cross product in case of parallel in case of dot product for a parallel vectors it has the maximum magnitude in case of cross product for a perpendicular vectors a cross b have the maximum okay for the unit vectors orthogonal unit vectors i j k i dot i equals to one that means i has the magnitude one j has the i um, would have magnitude 
i i dot i that means i cap i in case of unit orthogonal vectors i j k i vector is the acting along the x axis j vector j cap is acting along j uh, y axis and k cap acting along z axis so i cap dot i cap equals to 1 cos 0 equals to because they have same angle similarly j, j cap j and k cap k equals to 1 what about i cap dot j cap i and j are orthogonal vector or perpendicular to each other acting along x axis and y axis that means angle is 90 degree thus we can say that its value is 0 similarly it is valid for j dot k j cap dot k cap equals to 0 and k cap dot i cap equals to also 0 and in case of cross product i cross i cap cross i cap equals to 0 i and i i cap i cap simply i cap i cap will sign 0 degree will be giving you so similar j cap j cap and k cap k cap will be will get 0 for cross product and what about the i cross j, i cap cross j cap i and j are perpendicular to each other if we rotate call the finger along the from i i vector x axis to y axis that means the thumb indicate along the z axis that means we'll get the unit vector along z axis similarly j cross k gives the i cap and k cross j gives the j cap what if in the case in the reverse order j cross i will get minus k because i cross j and j cross i have opposite direction similarly k cross j will get minus i similarly i cross k minus j these are the differences between the comparison between differences as well as one similarity we have discussed these are the comparison between dot product and cross product and i'll say thanks for watching at the end of the lecture and don't forget to subscribe share like and comment and for any queries may forward to the mailing address or may comment on comment box thanks for watching